Bastianini, the least likely at this point, you'd think, to get that seat, the factory seat in the factory team, based on his performance. He's very much fourth, fifth kind of runner at the moment. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Two fourths this weekend. Yeah, and like a fifth in Jerez. So he is in about that place right now. And he's an interesting case. Because I mean, if you want my opinion on this, who gets it if you had to give it out right now? Maybe controversial one, because I think most people just think you'd give it to Mark because he's the biggest name. He's the big champ. He's probably as likely. Yeah, do you give it to him on his record and his past? You know, I think that's a lot of people's view. You just give it to the best rider. It's Mark. It's one of the best riders of all time. So I'm I'm probably Team Martin at the moment. After a couple of weeks ago, after Ma- Martin had his crash, you know, I was like, you know, do you just keep it steady with Bestia? He's probably a perfect number two for Peko at the moment if you're trying to keep harmony, but you don't want to lose these riders to other manufacturers. So you do have to probably promote one of them based on what you're seeing at the moment. So I would have no issues with them keeping Bastianini, by the way. I think if I was in charge, I'd probably give it to Martin because if he's leading the championship by 40 points by the time we get to Mugello, you just, you've got to put the contract in front of it. I just can't see how you can't. It'd be one of the biggest injustices in MotoGP in a, in a long while, I think, in terms of rider movements and, and either keeping or scrapping riders. It would be just, you'll never see anything like it where a rider's been that good and not got the job. But then obviously that's the mark factor. Like, do you just give it to Mark because he's Mark? Because you know he's a proven world champion and is a very real chance to deliver your world title on that bike for the factory team. And he could beat you from a from another team if you don't give him the bike. Is that a problem for Ducati? Uh, it might be with from within. Maybe they wouldn't like that. Would they care? I mean, I don't know. You have to ask them. So I think the most likely scenario at this point is to put Martin into the factory's team so you don't lose him because he need, he wants a factory ride. He said that. He's not going to settle for anything less in terms of the factory team, not just a factory bike. He wants a factory team. If Mark's happy and just enjoying himself and he's just turning around to you going, look, I don't care who you put me with, who's around me, which color I'm wearing. As long as you give me the latest bike, I'm going to be chuffed. And if he's happy there with his brother, crack on. You know, maybe that's a good solution for them. And then Bastianini, you might have to risk losing him or moving him back to if if Pramac stayed your caddy, you can put him in there on a factory bike, whatever. If he'd be willing to do that, I don't know if that would mean that he'd listen to the offers from somewhere else, so be it. But that's, I think, how, if you had to do it right now, I think that's the happiest circumstance for everyone. And Martin, how can you have a guy come second in the World Championship last year and almost beating you, and then currently beating you this year by quite a bit, and then not give him the job? It would be... I think a strange thing to do, but again, it is Mark Marquez we're talking about. Who's the other option? So, so put Bestia's case forward based on this weekend. He's finished fourth there, two point two seconds off the lead. So we have him about off the podium, about you know that Marquez Banyaya battle, one point seven seconds. How what what's the time loss for a long lap penalty at Le Mans? A couple of seconds, one point. I don't know how long it takes. Uh, what the top? What they're pr- Time loss is. It's usually around a couple of seconds, isn't it? At most places. Maybe it's a bit less at the moment. They were getting through it pretty quickly and they weren't losing that much time through there, to be fair. So maybe it's a second and a half. Is this just the kind of thing where Bastianini at the moment is on their level? Pecco, Mark, and Martin. He should be in that fight, but things are happening that are just keeping him away from it. And he's still he tied for third in the World Championship. So he's on the same amount of points as Mark here. So are we riding him off too early? I still think there's something there with him. I think if he can go out now. I mean, I think to get the job, he needs to win the next two races. I think he has to. Otherwise, he's not getting it, or at least one of them. But there's a very real chance here with a rider like him who has that race winning ability and that late race pace to just sometimes he feels like he's not in. Like here, he's come from like seventh or eighth on the opening laps, copped a long lap and finished a second and a half behind Pecco. I think he's there. And if he goes on one of these runs like he did the year before when he was at Grassini, the year before last, if he goes on one of these runs where he picks up two or three wins later in the year and they've already announced he's, you know, lost the ride, you know, I think there's a really big chance that Anaya could do something like that. That's all I'm saying here. They're not in a, they're not in a great position, Ducati. They are in a great position, but they're kind of not. It's very easy to make the wrong decision here. It's going to be one of those ones where you all look back on hindsight, which are whatever they do, and we're going to be able to go, well, you should have done that. You know, Based on what you know right now, like I said, you'd probably give it to Martin, try and keep Mark happy with a factory bike at Grassini or whatever. And if you can keep Pramac, we know there's talk of them going to Yamaha, but if you keep Pramac, where's Ducati? Could you convince Bestia to go there and not lose him to another manufacturer? Best case scenario for everyone. I think that's how you'd have to do it. If you called it right now, yes. Now, like I said, Bastianini can turn this around if he goes and wins. Like I said, it's a big ask. It is a big ask. Can you win the next two Grand Prix to keep your ride? 
Maybe if he just wins one of them. He's, and, you know, and he and he's still kind of only a couple of points behind Pecco if he's there with Mark, if he maybe closes the gap to Martin in points a little bit. Like, I don't think he's that far off. I honestly think he's a threat on Sunday if he doesn't have that long lap. It just seems like he was never in the battle because he's a late race guy. He's not there all the time. He comes towards the front later in the race. And because he never made it to that battle because of the long lap, it just seems like he was never in this Grand Prix. But I'm telling you, he probably could have been and should have been. But anyway, tell me what you think about that. And I've gone on for about that for a while here, <laughs> this video. But this is a really fascinating aspect to the way the season's playing out, I think. And if we're going to get a decision from Ducati by Mugello or after just after Mugello, it could be one of those hindsight decisions that can hurt you, I think. But we'll see how they go. 